Hello, sellers. It is so great to be here. This is my first ever time presenting at this amazing event. I'm Nicole Inouye, Senior Director of Product Experience for eBay. I've been with eBay for more than nine years, and over that time, across many roles, I've seen the good our community can do. That is why I'm so excited for today's session about eBay Charity, which was started in 2003. Since then, it has raised over $1.1 billion for over 114,000 charities worldwide, both big and small. In 2021 alone, eBay for Charity raised more than $145 million. And this year, you may even have seen one of our most incredible auctions, the annual and final Power of One Charity Auction Lunch with Warren Buffett which raised a mind-blowing $19 million for the charity Glide. 100% of all these funds have gone to each intended nonprofit. Giving back and paying forward is in eBay's DNA. In my role, I have the privilege of contributing to the growth of eBay for charity, so sellers and buyers alike can connect over shared values. I appreciate being a steward of the work so many of you do to give back. Today, I'm joined by Lori Wong, whose store Reflections of Trinity provides food, clothes, and basic needs to thousands of people through the sale of donated goods using eBay for charity. Many of you recognize her name and her good heart from other seller events. She is eBay's first ever Grand Prize Shine Award winner, a predecessor to our new Up and Running Grants program, and a true advocate for eBay's ability to connect people everywhere. Her sales and remarkable story about using eBay to sustain her charitable organization and support those in need is both educational and truly inspirational. I'm eager to start because I know she's gonna inspire some of you out there to look at eBay for charity as a way to give back. So let's get started. Hi, Lori. Hey, Nicole, and hi, sellers. I'm excited to be here. Awesome. Uh, let's start with a quick introduction. Tell me about your eBay story. How did you get started? So Reflections of Trinity is a 501c3 nonprofit, and we're located just north and west of Atlanta in a little town called Powder Springs. And we have a food pantry, and that feeds about 1,200 families um, each week. And just to put that in perspective, um, in 2021, we distributed just under 3 million pounds of food but when we started on eBay in 2005, which was 17 years ago, we were just a tiny nonprofit. Um, we had a brick and mortar thrift store and uh, we provided clothing and housewares and furniture to people that were in crisis. We had no food pantry. We were located off the beaten path. We were in an obscure location, um, no access to main street traffic and zero budget for marketing. So in order to grow, we had to expand our retail footprint. And that opportunity became a reality when we joined eBay as direct sellers. I know you had quite the challenge when you were first starting. Can you tell us how you started on eBay? Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> our beginning on eBay was rough. <laughs> <laughs> um, first of all, I was not technically savvy. Um, there was no YouTube, and I was very suspicious of e-commerce, shopping online, giving my credit card information. But a volunteer by the name of Sean, he convinced me that um, the eBay platform was exactly what we were looking for to sell our gently used um, and pre-owned items. And additionally, uh, eBay would expand our audience, both nationally and globally, so it was a perfect fit. Awesome. Now, if you recall, I was not technically savvy. So he opened the account for me, and then he handed me the keys, and he said, you're on your own. <laughs> so uh, it was trial by fire. Um, I taught myself how to do eBay. Uh, my first goal was 20 listings of uh, used one-of-a-kind items, and then I slowly increased the goals over time. Uh, thankfully, in 2008, I was able to hire my first eBay employee, 
who is still with us today. And then fast forward 17 years later, we now have six eBay staff members and over 1,400 listings, uh, 14,000 listings on eBay. It's fantastic. Um, can you share why e-commerce is so important for today's charitable organizations? You know, I heard an interesting statistic in 2020. 40% uh, of nonprofits in Georgia had to close their doors that year because of lack of funding. Mm. And with that in mind, and especially in today's economy, uh, it's imperative that charities and individuals um, have multiple streams of income. Um, having an eBay store and participating in e-commerce, just it needs to be part of our repertoire. Um, so quick story, we have a brick and mortar thrift store. And during COVID, um, we had a mandatory eight week closure uh, for no fault of our own. And that was eight weeks worth of revenue that we lost. But because we had an eBay store, our eBay sales skyrocketed. And um, the lesson that we learned here is that multiple revenue streams bolsters sustainability. So selling on eBay just makes sense. It's amazing. So you've been an eBay for charity seller for over 17 years. That's a long <laughs> time span. Um, can you tell us about what are the specific marketplace features between eBay and other platforms that have benefited your business the most? So as I mentioned, um, eBay is the most favorable platform for charities that sell a wide variety of gently used items. And for us, that's our meat and potatoes. Mm. Um, as a vetted charity on eBay, uh, we have reduced seller fees. Uh, so we net more revenue from each sale that goes towards our food pantry. Um, another great point is eBay is people focused, buyers and sellers. Um, they do not compete with their sellers. And uh, we have nothing to fear in that regard. So that builds trust. Um, lastly, eBay has an amazing fundraising tool for charity sellers, uh, whether you have products to sell or not. As a matter of fact, you can actually purchase a symbolic gift for a friend uh, by donating to their favorite charity directly on eBay. So the thought and the creativity that eBay demonstrates in the charity division, it shows us that they're not only interested, but they're committed to the nonprofit space. Love it. Um, over the years, and especially after COVID, your needs for donations have grown significantly. Mm -hmm. um, are there products or tools that you're using today to help you maximize your reach and tell your story in your own unique way? Absolutely. So we tell our story with every listing and we use the uh, custom template, the HTML in the, um, the description in the listing. And uh, that gives our customers a snapshot of what we do and how their purchase um, supports our family in crisis. Uh, we also use the promoted listings pretty heavily to enhance exposure. Uh, we use coupons. Uh, we particularly use that for categories that we just want to push or inventory that we want to clear out. And we find that coupons give buyers that added incentive to hit the buy button. Um, and always, I love the ability to share on social media with just one click. I love it. I love it. So when we first met, you told me about some pretty crazy sales that you've made on behalf of your charity. Would you share some? Oh, my goodness. In the beginning, I was your proverbial eBay yes woman. <laughs> you know, folks would ask me, uh, can you sell this on eBay? And my immediate answer was yes. And of course, I had no idea, but they didn't know that. Um, so back then, eBay had eBay classifieds. And a teacher friend of mine asked if uh, I would sell her house on eBay. And I said, sure. So I went and did a photo shoot and uh, put it on eBay classified and the darn thing sold in seven days. I see. Um, a couple of other stories. Jerry Glanville, who was a, um, a coach for the Atlanta Falcons, had a speedboat and a class, uh, racing car trailer that he wanted sold. So I, I sold both of them and became a platinum seller overnight. That's uh, fantastic. Wonderful. It was a wonderful time. <laughs> Um, maybe let's close with this. Okay. So 
day to day, I'd love to know how you connect sort of your network with your community and your store and what you might share with the audience uh, to really help them lean into their favorite, uh, their favorite charity and get them to sell on eBay. Like what are three tips or tricks, tips or tricks that you might share to help them know where to start and how to even get going? Okay, so um, first of all, be an eBay ambassador like Sean was for me. Uh, your favorite charity could always use more revenue. Um, don't be afraid to talk to the decision makers about the opportunity. Uh, send them to charity.ebay.com and that'll give them more information and uh, help them to open an account and get them approved as a nonprofit. Mm. Secondly, sellers can designate a percentage of their sales to their favorite charity. Um, when you give 10% or more, um, you get the corresponding discount in eBay fees. Uh, you get an attention grabbing ribbon to say that you're selling for charity and you get to enjoy some tax savings at the end of the year. Um, you know, you win, your charity wins. It's a win-win situation. Lastly, if your charity has products to sell and you don't, um, you can sell them on consignment and just, you know, receive a commission. You make extra cash, they generate funds um, for their program, and uh, it's a lovely day. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me here and sharing your experience uh, with those of us at Open. Learning from a fellow seller is what makes eBay Open so special. It's also what makes the eBay community such an amazing place. Lori is an incredible soul with an incredible story. When I first met her, I asked her what keeps her going. She replied, resilience and optimism, which to me sums up eBay sellers overall. Thank you again for joining us in this segment. Next up is Rebecca Michaels, Director of Seller Engagement and Community, and she'll discuss how to stay connected. Thank you again for being here with us at eBay Open.